I am at work. I'm at work right now um, trying to move the company. We've got majority of it done today. It's the very, very last day. I've been moving all week. So it has been a trial, but I'm so glad we're almost at the end. And um, I'm just waiting for the movers to come in. They're supposed to be here at 9, it's a quarter till. So I had to come in and do a few things before uh, they got here. So, yeah. Show y'all how this office looks crazy, crazy. Everything here is pretty much gone. We just have those crates over there to move. Um, I have these, um, all these wooden crates have to be moved. These um, bookcases need to be moved. back here messing with stuff. I had my little system all ready to go. But um yeah. We got a few more things back here that need to be um taken too. So I'm just gonna when they get here I'll brief them, let them know what needs to be done, what needs to be taken and what doesn't need to be taken. So I see a few more things that I need to do before they get here. So let me go ahead and get started. Talk to y'all later. Yes, I have my chip in. Heck yeah. Oh Earl, <laughs> where are you? That is awesome, guys. We just came out of the Batman movie and Luke was, was waiting out front. This is awesome right here. And no, it wasn't here. Hey, Jordan. Give me your phone, I'll take a picture of you in front of it. Give me your phone and I'll take a picture of you in front of it.
piece of paper with a number on it tucked in that boxer's glove. It gave him confidence. It reminded him of who he was and the champion that was in him. So when he walked out on that ring, uh, out in that ring, he knew it was just a matter of time before he knocked out his opponent. He had a trainer in his corner that believed in him. But can I tell you something? That piece of paper that was tucked in his glove, that little number that was written on it, it was only a number. The truth of the matter is, it had no effect on that boxer until that boxer got it into his thinking. He had to get that in his thinking. He had to think, oh, I know there's one round that I'm actually going to throw, the final blow that's going to knock my opponent down. So he had to know that. He had to think about that. He had to meditate on that. And in the very same way, God has placed greatness on the inside of you. He has put the seed of a champion on the inside of you. He says you are more than a conqueror. You have been made. See, champions aren't born, they're made. And what God is doing right now is he has birthed in you a champion. Now he is making you that champion right down here on earth. In eternity, you're already a champion. When he looks at you, he knows who you are. I want to encourage you today to get it down in your heart and know who you are. See yourself through the eyes of Jesus Christ. It'll have no effect on you until you get it in your thinking. How do you activate this champion on the inside of you? How do you activate what God has already put in you? You keep pressing. You keep believing. You keep coming to church. You keep declaring His Word. You keep praising Him. You keep knowing that it's one round, and you're about to knock out your opponent. Say happy Easter. Happy Say happy Easter. Day. Happy Easter. Resurrection Day. Happy Resurrection Day. We got a new passenger. It's Kendrick. Happy Easter. All right. And I'm going to say happy Easter as well. Happy Resurrection Day. And uh, hope you guys had a great Easter holiday. Um, we are um, on our way to dinner at Earl's dad's house. And I prepared for dessert two strawberry cheesecakes right there. So we went to early service. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Got out enough time to go home, get a little snooze in, so now we're all relaxed. Relax. He never relaxed. Something wrong with him. Something wrong with you, ain't it? Tell the people, tell the truth to the people. Tell the truth to the people. The truth is, I'm tired. But, he could have went to sleep, but he was too busy on the phone trying to wake me up. And loud time. I was on the phone to my business while you were snoring. I was. We, we weren't sloppy. You said I was snoring and I asked you what was that? Yeah, you were a baby. was it? That means I wasn't. But anyway, I was trying to get a little sleep, a little shut out. So we're going down the road. Like I said, on the way to get some din din. Or make lunch. Some soap. Some soap. Or So you know what's on the menu. She always does. It, it got to be chicken pork chop. It got to be some version of white meat. It got to be some greens and cabbage. And it got to be some corn. And some potatoes. I know what they're going to be. They're going to find no guacamole. No sour cream. <laughs> no, no bean dip. I guarantee you're going to see that. So, right. Because so, that's, what I, that's, what I cook. that's what I cook for dinner. That's what I cook. I cook bean dip for dinner. So you're trying to throw shade. But I'm going to tell you, he already, he's never going to get another meal from me ever again. Like, ever. Because let me tell y'all. So I was taking a little snooze and I'm like, I woke up I'm like, I'm a little hungry, you know. You can make me a sandwich. Yeah, we get ready to go in an hour. Go to sleep. 
I'm like, I just, I want a sandwich. So I got up and I made myself a sandwich. Now, let me tell you, these people in my house do not have to ask for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I take care of them. So now you're throwing shade on because one of our favorite cuisines is Mexican, along with a lot of other stuff. But when you live and you're from Texas, you get a lot of Mexican food and you learn about Mexican food, you know? And not even, I probably learned more about Mexican food living in Florida because of the friends that I had there than here. But I do love Mexican food. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. The person that's talking about, he doesn't really care for it that much. Don't never turn away from it. Don't turn away from it. But now he's acting like all I cook is Mexican food. And that is not true. It's not true. Because if that's the case, I don't think he was the ground. But that might be what he'll get for dinner. Bean deal. Because <laughs> I only cook bean deal when we're having gatherings. I don't cook that. No. Well, no, I take it back. I do cook it for dinner when they ask for it. Oh, you know what? I wish I still had the video of you, dear sir, at home sending me a video of you making what? My version of bean dip. Uh-huh. But it ain't gonna be no bean dip. Pick up the guy over. Yeah, he ain't no dang gonna pick up the guy up. Ain't tripping. Yeah, baby. But anyway. He gonna be real skinny the next time y'all see him. Yeah, from starvation. Yep, from starvation. Get the dog. But you'll make me a sandwich next time. Oh, this is gonna make me? See, y'all are witnesses now. You hear you hear this this talking he doing. Oh, a lot of daggone talking. Alright. Peanut butter jelly it is. Check the seat up. No, you ain't gotta eject me. I can just pull up. Bruh. 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 Oh, really? Yeah, it's like that. It's like that now. You made me no sandwich and I was hungry. Bruh. Don't, and don't y'all be feeling sorry for him either. Oh, now he's threatening me. Y'all don't see me no more. Y'all know what happened. This is the camera. All right, guys. We'll talk to y'all later. I ain't worried about her. But he did say peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He wasn't even going to give me no meat. Only protein I was going to give was peanut butter. Pretty much. That's what's up. Right. Looking at a dog, I feel. Huh? Listen, looking at a dog, I feel. Feed you a peanut butter. Maybe looking at your lips. Ah, <laughs> uh, he beat. Bye.